Hi, today I'm going to explain how to change a quadratic equation from the standard form to the vertex form. Now the standard form is written with a quadratic term followed by a linear term followed by a constant term and I think you all know that and I have this example here in standard form and I'm going to use completing the square to change it to the vertex form where you have a which is the same quantity as the a here times the perfect square x minus h plus k where h and k is the maximum um, if you have a minus a or the minimum if you have a plus a of the graph so the first step is to move the constant term over to the other side of the equation and we do that by adding one to each side and now we have y plus 1 equals 3x squared plus 2x. Now the next step is to factor out the 3 so we have no other coefficient besides 1 here. And so we factor out the 3 and we're left with x squared plus 2 thirds x. And I left a space here because I want to add the constant term so I can make a perfect square. Now, to make a perfect square, I need to take my linear term, take half of it and square that value. So half of two thirds is one third, squared is one ninth. Now remember, I'm not really adding one ninth to this side. I'm actually adding three times one ninth, three ninths. And so I need to make sure I add three ninths, which is also one third to the left hand side. So I add one third, I change one, to three thirds, and I now have four thirds plus y equals three times this perfect square. And I'm going to factor it now, and I do that by taking the square of this and taking the square of this. And of course, I want to check my work. And so what I do is I say x squared gets me this, one third squared gets me one ninth, and then to get the linear term, I take this term, multiply it times this term, and double it. So 1 third times x is 1 third x, doubled is 2 thirds x, which is what I have. So this is the completed square, x plus 1 third, that quantity squared. Now, I'm not quite done yet, because what I need to do is I need to move this constant term back over to the right-hand side, so I now have it in the vertex form. And so I can just look at the H and look at the K and see what my vertex is. So I subtract 4 thirds, subtract 4 thirds, and I get Y equals 3 times the quantity X plus 1 third squared minus 4 thirds. Now, I can look at this now and see that I have a graph that will open upward because of the 3, which is a positive value. And then I know my vertex is, if I rewrite this as x minus a minus 1 third, then I know 1 third is my x coordinate for the vertex. And I know that since I have plus k, that plus a minus 4 thirds, minus 4 thirds will be my y coordinate. So you can eyeball a, a quadratic equation when it's in this form in order to see what your x and y coordinates are and whether it opens upward or downwards. So that's a very, very useful thing to know. A lot of students don't seem to have a good grasp of it, so hopefully this will help you. And I thank you for your attention. Goodbye.